I'm going to need that. Oh, um, all right. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I guess class is canceled. We <laughs> just you, got here. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I just borrow? Oh, thank you. All right. Does everybody have? We're doing a little drawing class today. Do you have scratch paper, cardboard, a wall, marker, pen? Get all your, your toys. Do, do, do. Meanwhile... I'm, I want to gauge like how how much or little like how familiar um, everyone is with sigils. So just holler. Is it has anyone like messed with sigils before? Played with them? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have. Yes. <laughs> like, have you created your own or like what? Yes. What, have, what have you? Where Where is everyone at with sigils? Let me Let me know. I just drew one. Oh, cool. I create mine. I yeah. I try to make my own. And contrary to popular belief, you don't have to be a good, like, artist, drawer, doodler at all. Like, I feel like anyone can can do him. What's the date today? 27. Now recording. There he is. Is that Clyde? Hooray! All right, Cleo. Oh, my gosh. Let's move locations because this one wants to be a menace right now. <laughs> Aww. I know you will just want to be included. How about here? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to show my super simple process first and then cuz I don't I don't want anyone to like overthink it. Just like just imagine just a simple drawing one two three step type thing. Um, and then we can, you know, we can get into intentions and use cases is and and all that stuff later so for this step one um let's do that i'll go like one through ten this is like the super baseline like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now the purpose of this is gonna be wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay this could be as little or as many numbers as you want what what this effects it, can somebody mute i feel like someone's like has background music for tv or something thank you um so the point of this is how simple or fancy you want basically like less or more line work so if you just want something super quick and easy and simple then i would go with like as little numbers as you want if you're trying to go with something like Atlantean, like fancy, like a lot of line work, super artistic, you can you can go like even more, like up to 15 or 20, however more. But we'll just start with super simple 10. But that's what this like affects. And then we'll just go jot down the alphabet. I would recommend um, doing this the standard like one through 10 and then just having that on like an index card um, so that you have it for reference so that you don't have to like do the one through 10 version with the alphabet like every single time you need to do a, a sigil. I have it in this journal so then like I would have to like flip back and forth but I think like an index card with this would be helpful. Uh, J, K. Yes. Okay, cool. And just FYI, I'm using my phone i can't see the chat but i will after this i'll switch to laptop and i'll catch up with the chat and we can also if there's something bugging or if you have a question just holler like i can hear you just like just literally interrupt me and holler because i can't see the chat right now <laughs> okay next is what like you write you can write your intention this could be as simple as like one word or as complex and specific as like a whole sentence um and yeah just your your intention for this sigil writing this intention is literally like once you decide on one um writing it down technically you're already doing the beginnings of energetically charging the sigil and your intention so let's think of one hold on let me see if i can see the chat give me one to use give me one to use you can say it or, or type it Maybe, maybe what, what intention do we want to, do we have for this collective or everyone in this room right now? What, what do y'all need? Protection. All right, we'll go with protection. Oh, someone's typing. Okay, never mind. All right. So let's say to all our spirit guides. So like, if you wanted to, you could get as specific as that 
or you can keep it super simple. I'll show you the simple version. And then the next step would be depending if you, so remember one of the options for, for number one, you can go less numbers if you want less line work. You can go a, a higher count if you want like a fancier one. But with the standard, we then just like write the numbers under each letter. So that's what I'll, I'll usually do next. Um, that would be step three. Okay, where's the P? Six, eight, R. Why am I writing in italics right now? It's okay. C, 10, I, nine, O, five, N. And then you cross out any duplicates so that you only have like one of each number that came up. So let me see if I have any duplicates here. I have one six, I have one eight, I have one five, another five, another five, 10, 10, nine, four. Okay, cool. I think that's good. And then um, step four is you're gonna create a little and then you're gonna stick these numbers in there. So the easiest way is to just like start with a little circle. I'll give you like two more options as well. There's a lot of different ways and options for each step honestly there's like there's none of it is incorrect if you're feel like doing something totally different that's also like trust your intuition follow follow what you're being led to do but here's like the baseline and you can veer off as far from it as you like so we're not going to write these in order because you're going to connect them if you write them in the order that they came up you're just going to end up with literally like a circle so you're just gonna trust yourself and intuitively jot them down almost like a clock and out of order let me just check in five 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 <laughs> oh yeah we had a five 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 wait let me just write that down for later i forgot what five 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 means if anyone knows your angel number meanings offhand throw it in the chat all right so we're gonna do this random so i'm just gonna go like six maybe eight over here five over here ten over here three uh, nine and four they don't have to be spaced out it doesn't have to be perfect like the messier the more random the better because um the less you overthink it then the more you're trusting your intuition so this is the circle version you also can use any shape that has been coming up for you lately um like something that you you just see in the in your mind's eye and it's like screaming at you or you just like let your hand just channel and draw whatever shape it wants um for example that like literally any shape and you can do it's the same thing like just put them randomly six eight five ten huh? nine four you can do that or you could say f the shapes and just literally map them out like randomly the spacing totally and i would say um did i skip one four okay well technically it still looks like a circle but yeah like it could be also like random um, so you can get more variety in your final sigil. But yeah, those are some options. I just default to the circle if I just want it super quick and I'm not trying to get fancy. Um, and then step five, you just connect them like in that order. You can start very simple, like just like straight lines. And then you can uh, up the edit. You can play with it later. So we have six to eight. So six to eight to five to ten what's next ten to three and three to nine nine to four yeah okay cool so we're doing the protection one together you're welcome to like get the muscle memory in and do the same one along with us but if you started with you know your own intention that's totally fine we're just like getting your muscle memory familiar so yeah and if you chose another shape or just like randomly scattered then you'll probably have a different shape, but that's a-okay. And then step six, I will literally just kind of follow this order. It's going to be one, one line to see how like it looks outside of all of this like template chaos. So if I started from six, I just kind of start like, did I do that? I did that wrong. I'm just trying to get used to making this shape, something like that. And then I would do it like a few times until I like what I see. You also don't have to follow the length. Like I will exaggerate, maybe shorten this. So like once you get used to the shape that you came up with, you can start modifying it slowly and slowly and slowly. I kind of like this one. 
these two are too close to the star. So I'm just going to use this, but I'm going to make it one more time to see. Okay, close enough. So that is pretty much the protection sigil. After you, you know, played with the muscle memory and doing it a few times and you find a version that you like, you can add or take away. You like have a baseline now. So you can like make doodles, caboodles, you know, like however you want to mess with it, modify it as much as you want. It's already charged with the energy and the protection. So even if you end up with a final design that looks totally different from the original, this is like energetic. Like the ink is not, it does not depend on the ink whether or not like it's correct or not. So even if I ended up, like if I was using an eraser, if I ended up erasing things to make little gaps in spaces. But we'll go with that. And that's that's the sigil. Now, I will zoom out a little bit just in a screenshot of the steps. Here we go. Oh, Denny, I kind of see like a little heart, like a little paper, paper heart. That's cute. Yee, hooray. Okay, so just in case you need these steps, you can screenshot it. So that way I can, I'm going to hop on off of video and then we can just like talk sigils and share what we each know about them or what we've heard about them. Okay, I hop off video now so I can see the chat. All right. So simple enough, but you're welcome to give me a rating of how like easy that was. I try to simplify it as much as I could. Um, but did everyone or who did anyone do it along with us? If so, what did what intention did you go for? Let me know. Powerful. Hell yeah. Aaron, easy. Yes. <laughs> it is so easy. It's like you don't have to memorize an encyclopedia of runes from different star systems. And like I I don't have a memorization type of brain. So I just I am more called to sigils and then just creating them intuitively. Yeah, there's there's a lot of methods. Um, this was like the easiest one possible that I learned and the only one that I tried for myself because I'm just like I know myself when things get very deep and very fancy like I'm just gonna overthink it and rabbit hole forever but this was literally one two three and then done <laughs> this sigil is now active do you just leave it on yeah as soon as you're like satisfied with it literally put it on a piece of paper or if you're doing this for someone like if someone was like, help, like, I don't know what to do right now. I don't feel safe. This one is a protection one. So just do this, take a picture of it, send it to that person. So it's also like one use case would be for aid um, to help other people be like, okay, I made this for you. Here you go. But um, more tangible use cases, like you could cut it out. If you wanted to, for example, like charge your water you know, the how we pray over a water, like Reiki charge it, etc. Like if you're not really good at coming up with the words to energetically charge things or to pray over things, um, you can put this on a sticky note and put it under any drink, any beverage, any food. And it's the same intention as like praying over it or putting um, doing Reiki over what you consume. Um other ways that you can use it if since this one is protection i would probably put this on like four different i don't know sticky notes or whatever i want to write it on and then just slap them on the four corners of my room or my house um really there's no like limit to how you can use them i would say trust yourself i would say you can use this to enhance whatever practices you're already practicing or you're already used to instead of just so that this practice itself doesn't feel separate um you can integrate this with where you're already at like if you're into crystals you can put this on a sticky note and then have your crystals of choice sit on that sticky note with the sigil on it and now you're charging your crystals with that specific intention um if you're into I don't know what else is there like sound healing and you have like sound instruments same thing when your instruments are resting you can you know place this sigil around or underneath them so I guess in the category of charging any physical objects that you use um, you can just have these rest underneath them or if it's like a sticker sticky note you could literally put it on them 
I know some people like to like lock their mirrors for protection. You put this on a mirror. And then for non things that are not objects, like if it's a space that you're protecting or charging, etc. Um, I like to do three or four. So let's say I draw this on like a piece of paper for three or four different pieces of paper. Because you, you want to um, set your intention around a space, right? So you need enough pieces, enough of these sigil, enough copies of the sigil to make a, to like triangulate a space. If I want to charge my meditation space and I really, really want to um, meditate and have help some of my abilities come online or like practicing, preparing for astral travel, like I can make a little triangulation maybe like three of this three copies of this sigil around my meditation like sitting space or i can just protect the whole room and make four copies of this and then put it in each corner or the whole home or the whole property <laughs> um it's it's really easy to just use paper stickers or if you're like directly writing on objects for triangulation but if you want something that's going to last outdoors just like some sort of, um, you can do a Sharpie or you can paint a stone, you know, something a little bit more permanent and then put those stones around whatever space you want to charge with an intention. Um, you can also like directly draw this like on, I don't know if you're, you can carve it into the trees around your home, etc. So it's really limitless, um, the use cases. But I will say, I will say one thing. Um, this process is a modality and a way for Source and the universe and our spirit team and our guides to, it's almost like a summoning or a calling upon them to support us with this intention. And all of the things supporting us support us for our highest loving good and the highest loving good of all. So just know and um like if you do share this with trusted people in your community or if, in other tribes that you have just be rest assured that like people couldn't use this for baneful use even if they tried <laughs> like there there is there is there's no um how do i say it it's like I'm trying to give you reassurance, like the entities that will be supporting us, this is literally for our highest living good. So don't worry about, um, I don't know, like accidentally negatively charging it or anything. If you tried a baneful use behind this, like it's just not going to work. Like you just, what you'll have is a, a cool design and you drew something like a drawing. That's what you'll have, but it won't, it won't go past that. Um, but one thing I will say is that this specifically is sigils that you create so they're specific to you you're charging them you're marking them with your essence so if and when you do make one for someone else um just know that it is marked with a little bit of your essence so it's almost like i am putting in a word with the universe to go and protect my friend or i am asking if one of my guides would be down to like please 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 go and check in on my friend and make sure she's safe um so if you're doing this for other people um just be mindful to do it sparingly um and also to not like get trigger happy with making them because you it is really fun and it is really easy but i just don't want you to like you know feel drained or super tired like energetically wise so um you can pace yourself um i wouldn't say like I do it once a day and I feel fine. But if I were to do like three or four in a day, maybe I'm just going to end up napping for like eight hours or after or just end up sleeping after. Um, so, yeah. So if there's any questions, we're not on stage here. We're just in, I think, um, an open VC chat room. But that's the that's the thing. That's the class. That's the process. And I'm curious to to hear from you all um, what you ended up making your familiarity with sigils if you wanted to drop some gems and knowledge for everyone else here um but that was just me sharing different ways that i use them so yeah open chat freestyle starting now <laughs>
Two, two, two. Well, I don't know if you saw my chat, but um, when I made a sigil, not well, not I made it. I actually dreamed of a sigil that Whoa. um was yeah, and it was for a specific person. Let's just say, and I wanted to wear it. So what I did was I got like a piece of plastic and I got a sharpie and I drew the sigil on the plastic and I like put a hole in like the plastic and I wore that sigil as a necklace so yeah i just wanted to throw that out there too if you wanted to um do that or that's something you could do too yes 100 percent. it's like you can literally use them however is needed and also however yeah. like you're called to <laughs> you know like it doesn't have to be um fancy elaborate design like every single time because that might not be especially if it's an sos like one time I had a gin <laughs> attached to the back of my neck and this gin was like like maniacal laughing. Like think the Joker reliving resident like uh, behind your neck. And I was like, okay, I need something right now, right quick. So um, I put a sigil on a sticky note like under my pillow because that's the closest to where I could get it. And then um, I also enlisted a friend to help me with like prayer that he's really good at. And then it went away, like the pain in my neck and my shoulders went away. So again, doesn't have to be fancy. However, if you have the time and the energy and the space and you're feeling called to, like go ham, like, you know, like mm -hmm. you, I really like the, the Atlantean like symbols, runes and sigils that they do because the designs are just like resonant with me. And um, oh, that reminds me. Okay. So as you do these over time and almost like a journal, when you journal dreams or you just journal free flow, when you look back, you start to see recurring themes. So when you see... When you look at your designs, like over time, your some of your sigils, you might start to see like a style start developing just naturally. Like you don't have to like try. I, I would say like, don't think about it. Just observe it and notice it and realize it because the like this, the recurring style that starts developing might be a little hint, a little key maybe like a little lead into your um, like your celestial heritage, like your star DNA, especially if it's like starts seeming like if the style that you that starts to form for you starts looking really familiar, like earth, like familiar, like, oh, this looks really Native American or like, oh, this looks like super Korean or whatever, you know, like earth type experiences and familiar symbols that could be like a key or a lead in to like, huh, do I have a past life in Japan? Do I have a past life in like, like here in North America? Like, so that those are little hints. And that's why I would say, don't try super hard to like overthink and develop or adopt someone else's style. Just let it kind of start forming naturally. Trust yourself intuitively. It could be, you know, your, um, your soul that remembers all of these past lives like coming through as well. And then if it looks super otherworldly, like um, for, for the, some of the, the races out there in the cosmos that have a written language or have a kind of like written or symbolic typographical style, that could also be a hint into where you might have connections or an actual like star heritage. So that's like a fun little little tidbit if not any shares um are there any questions where did you even find this method because like it's so interesting and different from a method i learned and heard about with creating sigils and mm -hmm. i did i really had no idea there was like different kinds like the method i learned was you mm -hmm. write your intention and you like write out whatever you want and then you use the letters instead of numbers and whatever letters repeat themselves you cross out and whatever mm -hmm. letters you have left then you make a symbol out of the letters and basically that so i'm just like wow you can do this with number uh, numbers too like i was i was really intrigued yeah like it's actually really amazing how versatile sigil creation is it's like honestly there is a lot of different methods. I have heard of that one, which is actually really fun. I've also heard of a version of that where instead of um, instead of like 
the numbers that I use, you would be using like Roman Roman numerals instead of mm-hmm. like one, one, two, three. And then at the end of it, crossing out the duplicates, you like put all those Roman numerals together and then you'll come, come up with a shape. So the process actually doesn't, mm, it doesn't affect the power of your sigil. It's just for the sake of helping people feel guided and supported in the sigil creation. However, you also don't need a process or methodology. Like if something is just coming through and you, you're not like me, like you're not afraid of a blank canvas, you know, and it can just, you can just like go ahead and draw, jot something out of thin air. That also, that is no less powerful than like having a method. Um, it's just for, it's just like for people to sometimes having a process in place just feels really supportive. Um, I don't know if anyone here is neuro spicy like me, but it helps me feel mm-hmm. really supported. Yeah, I, um, I love but I that. Found, I'm going to use that. Yeah. It's just like something where I feel guided. I don't feel like alone because looking at a blank canvas, like I am artistic, but I feel very alone when it's blank and I'm so scared to like mess up. Right. But I have this mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just like following this little path and then I get to my destination. But however you get to that destination, all of it is correct. <laughs> um, and how I to answer your question, I found mm, a more complicated version of this from um, a creator, a witch that I enjoy watching on TikTok. And then I simplified it maybe down to like half the steps and half the... <laughs> brain power because for me it's like the minute the more the less the brain power the more like authentic and the more space there is for like intuitive channeling if there's too much brain power then it's just like I'm just designing at this point you know exactly okay but yeah um I'm down to host more um and I'm also down to teach like other Maybe just teach the variety, like the spectrum of methods, um, just so everyone can, to help everyone like find the process that works for them. And that way, um, anyone and everyone here can feel like they can do sigils. Like it's not a specific mastery. It's not a, you know, like literally any of us can do this. I am like ADHD and super lazy AF and very naturally low energy, but I was able to do this. So I have high hopes for everyone else. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but yeah um we can end the class here if no questions let me just look at the okay cool um and i'm probably gonna hop in one of the other vcs just to hang out so feel free to you know follow us on over there but thank you thank you everybody thank you. yeah i appreciate all of you i'm getting my practice in i'm doing the reps in holding space um and i feel very supported and safe like doing so um with y'all here so i'm excited to host more and hang out more and teach and uh grow with everyone so i love you all we have our protection sigil for this collective for the day so just feel you know know and feel that you have um that intention charged for you by everyone here that held witness to the creation of it which charged it even more so at least for today we're protected we are not alone i love you all and the end thank you bye the one you made denny looks um like tattoo worthy like this it's a cute tattoo (laughs) (laughs) nice yeah i put my crystal bracelets Mm. honestly i wish i knew about sigils like 15 years ago because the Me amount too. of the amount of hours that I put banging my head against the wall to create logos for clients, like I could have just used this process and it would be a five minute logo I already made for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andy, we can. Mm. And honestly, I heard sigil magic's like the most powerful type of magic out there. 